Okay, so let's have number eight. A rectangular barge weighing 30,000 metric tons has a horizontal cross-sectional area equal to 3,000 square meters. That's at the waterline. Cross-sectional area at the waterline. The draft of the barge in seawater is 17.6 meters. The specific gravity of the seawater is 1.03 what is the draft in meters of the barge in fresh water? So, itong problem na to, ito yung medyo confusing sa uh, tawag dito. Uh, buoyancy topic. Na? Bakit mag-iiba yung draft? Paano mag-iiba? Alright. Anyway, let's analyze that one. Let's say ito yung ating water surface. Seawater and meron tayo uh, fresh water. The sea water, we have specific gravity 1.03. And for uh, for the fresh water, of course, the specific gravity 1.0. So, pag nasa sea water da yung ating barge. Okay? Yung draft niya is 17.6. Uh, by the way, the mass of the barge is 30,000 metric tons. That's equivalent to 30 million kilogram metric tons. A kilogram uh, simply multiplied by... 1,000. Okay? Now, ito yung draft natin at the seawater, 17.6 meters. So, what will be the draft pag itong uh, barge natin pupunta sa fresh water? Ano mangyayari? So, like this. O, dito siya. Now, yung behavior nito, bababa yung ating barge. Meron siyang draft content. Okay, and tawagin natin yung uh, draft niya, I mean change in draft as delta D. Bakit yan bababa? So, bale, ito yung magiging draft natin in fresh water. Tawagin ko na lang siya D. Bakit siya bababa? So, it is because of the principle of buoyancy. Of course, uh, seawater 1.03 yung ating specific gravity. Ibig, ibig sabihin dyan, mas denser yung seawater. Pag mas dense yung uh, water natin, then mas malakas yung buoyant force. So from the formula buoyant force, gamma times displaced volume. So it involves uh, the buoyant force is directly proportional to the gamma. Okay? So gamma, uh, 1.03 times 9.81. Of course, pag mas malaki yung ating specific gravity, mas malaki yung buoyant force and mas magpo-float siya. Mas liliit yung kanyang draft. Dito, magsisink siya ng konti kasi uh, fresh water lang siya. Okay, so anyway, by the way, baka magtaka kayo yung uh, binanggit is rectangular barge. Bakit hindi ito perfectly rectangle? So, yung ibig sabihin ng rectangular barge dito is yung surface niya rectangle. Kasi pag, example, rectangle talaga yan, then makukuha mo na agad yung D. By just equating here the buoyant force, o kumbaga, in other words, so sobra yung events natin. So, in reality, meron niyang curvature. No? And kinoconsider yan dito sa problem na to. Okay, kasi pwede nyo isipin, well sir, di ba pwede lang makuha yung draft equating that one to the buoyant force. So, of course, the buoyant force for floating bodies is just equal to the total weight. We know that buoyant force, Fb, is gamma times volume. Baka ito yung iisipin nyo. Gamma of the fresh water and the volume is, since it is a rectangular barge, length times width times depth. Makukuha mo yung depth. So, hindi. Again, dito, hindi, kinukonsider na yung uh, kubaga, curvature dito or ano ba yung shape dyan ng ating uh, baba ng da. Pwede kasi iba. Pag ganyan. Halimbawa, shape. Na hindi na siya perfectly rectangular. What is meant here, rectangular barge, is the cross-sectional area at the waterline. So the analysis here starts dito. That's delta D, then meron yung binaba na delta D. Ano yung binaba dyan? The same lang din dito. So itong line na yan, that's the line of the seawater. Bali, ito yung 17.6. Now, if you want to calculate the D, yung D is equal... Uh, yung D is equal to 17.6 plus the delta D. So, we will be needing the delta D. Paano kunin si delta D? 
So, kung titingnan natin sa 3D, ganito siya. Yung rectangle na sinasabi niya is itong top niya. At the waterline, it is a rectangle then. The area is 3,000, ano, 3,000 square meters. The cross-sectional area. So, uh, anong gamit niya? Now, ito yung analysis. Of course, again, for floating bodies, the buoyant force is just equal to the mass. Uh, kahit dito, the buoyant force is just equal to the mass. Equal, equal lang yung magnitude niya. Pag mamatter dito yung change, yeah, the, yung volume. Yung volume na kailangan. Of course, the lesser the, 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 lesser the density, the bigger the volume is needed. So, ito yung formula ng buoyant force. Our solution will be involved sa change in volume. Ano yung change in volume? Itong part na yan, magkakaroon ka ng change in volume. No? So, we will express the buoyant force uh, in terms of volume. I mean, yung volume of the space in terms of buoyant force. Volume of the space is Fb over uh, gamma liquid. Of course, different liquids yan. So, the volume displaced in fresh water Ito, as you can see here, the total volume nito is mas malaki sa volume niyan. And the change in volume or the difference in volume nito and ito, yung difference siya, volume displaced in fresh water minus volume displaced in seawater is equal to the change in volume, which is this part. Yan yung change in volume. What is the volume displaced? We can actually solve for each of the volume displaced. Volume displaced nito, in terms of uh, buoyant force, that is the buoyant force, okay, in terms of kilogram tayo, 30 million kilogram divided by the density of water is 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter. That is for the fresh water. Then, minus volume displaced, itong part na yan, that is this part in seawater. So, the same pa rin ng formula, buoyant force, still the buoyant force here is just equal to mass kasi equilibrium. Dapat balance para mag-float. Divided by the gamma of the liquid. Since we are here in seawater, then the gamma of liquid is density of water, 1,000 kg per cubic meter times the specific gravity 1.0 and the change in volume is equal to the area area 3000 square meters times depth we can consider this one as a rectangular parallel pipe a meron thickness t okay so times delta d of course, at this part, hindi pa yan curve. Assuming hindi pa yan curve, makuha natin yung delta D. So that the depth in fresh water, again, i-add natin. That's 17.6 plus delta D. And the answer is 17.891. So pag magbaliktad naman, no? from fresh water tayo then to sea water, then it must be subtracted. Pwede ganun. So far, ito pala yung question niya sa board exam. 17 point.